Hey, it's the Burning Coin Collector here. It's been a very long time since I've posted anything whatsoever. Um, these days I buy and sell coins on the side. Um, it's kind of rare to find anything good, but there are times you will. Um, and I want to show you all of that stuff today. Um, I bought all of this stuff for some figurines and 100 cash. Um, I've already doubled my money on what was left, including some gold, which is crazy. Um, yeah, let's get into it. First thing is this 1968 um, Mexican silver, 25 pesos, 72% silver. Pretty cool. 1895 Indian head penny. Okay, shape. 1888 Indian head penny. Barely holding on there. 1999 S Delaware silver quarter. 2007 S Washington quarter. It was one of the rounds I had to keep, sunshine minting. It's an old brown from like 90s or 80s, I'm not completely sure. Gotta get cases for these. 1908 S, half dollar. 1908 Philly, half dollar. I love old Canadian, I just don't stumble across it much, so this is a nice find. 1874 quarter, not in the best shape. <laughs> 1900 quarter, pretty sure there's no mark there, so just a Philly. This was a nice find. Wish it was a D. Nineteen sixteen S. Work your dime. Got a steel penny. Denver. Got these weird commemorative silver coins. They go for a lot, quite a bit more than their silver weight on eBay. But I found a book of like 50 of them for 400, so like I couldn't tell you. Um, this one's Centennial Day. And then this one is Independence Day. Here's one of the cooler finds. The cool, my favorite find I had to sell, unfortunately. 1862, Seed Liberty Quarter. Super cool. I don't know how it gets that black, quite honestly. Is a 1923 two franc. Really cool coin. This I think is a key date Balboa. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's from 1931. Uh, mint mark wise, I think it's just a. Well, it wouldn't be Philadelphia, but it's the no min mark variety of this coin. It's kind of cool. Commemorative coin. <laughs> Booger T. Washington. Commemorative half dollar. We've got some decent condition. Mercury dimes. Pretty sure this is just a, yeah, silver dime. Forgot what these are. Another from Mexico, obviously. I think they're only like 10% silver, though. First of these, actually. <laughs> we got some hand poured stuff. It's kind of cool. Got a 10 gram bar right here with a little skull on it. Another 10 gram bar. Fake, unfortunately. It weighs about half of what it should. 1800 fake dollar coin. The 
it's silver, I'd scrap it. And then some just one gram bars. Pretty cool. And then here's the last exciting stuff. Honestly, don't know why a lot of this is in here. Uh, it's not like that silver. Uh, 1975 dime. Again, this wasn't mine until like earlier this week. <laughs> 1965 dime. This guy has some other stuff too, so hope to get it all. This one's kind of nice. 1976. It's in good shape. 1975 Denver. Also in pretty good shape. And then just some miscellaneous crap. There's a lot of um, Indian head scents here. 1906. 1905. 1904. I think all of these are early 1900s. I've also got some books I'm trying to sell. Nineteen oh seven. A weedy. There's this one coin shop, uh, nineteen oh six. There's this one coin shop up in Maria, Utah. I think it was actually in Salt Lake City. Um, it had an entire roll of wheat pennies that were all just BU. It actually had like dozens of them, but I got a 1955S roll for like, I think it was like 30 or 35 bucks. So that was really cool. <laughs> 1906, probably went through a fire or something. That's rough. There's quite a few here. Um, 1901. Five. Be right back with the uh, books too. Okay, here are the books. Got some Lincoln Sense. Quite a bit of old ones. 1910, 09, 11, 12, 13, 13, Denver, 14, 15, 16, 16, Denver, 16, San Francisco, 17, Denver, 17, San Francisco. No 14D, unfortunately. <laughs> 18D. Quite a few 20s. Some 30s as well. Nothing crazy in there, though. These were just additions. And then we've got basically a first or the last page of Indian Head Sense done, apart from the two key dates. These are in pretty good shape. We got 1882, 83, 84, 85, 86. 87, 88, that one is in pretty good shape. 89, I still got some luster. Um, 90, 91 and 2, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 1900, 1901, also almost has luster. 1902, 1903, 1904, 1905. Doesn't have luster, but it's definitely XF-ish. 1906, 1907, 1908, and 1909. Might honestly keep this and just try to collect the rest. I know I have quite a few of the 60s and early 70s. I have a 74, which I believe is it's not a key date. It's a decent one, though. Um, I know the 77 is a key date, though. Well, that's about all, guys. The only other cool coins in here. We did have some Eisenhower dollars. I actually don't know where they went, though. Um, I'll have to find those. I always love these commemorative Ikes. Oh, they're not really worth much more than face value. But yeah, there's one of the Eisenhower dollars. I gave him two of them back for some reason. I should have just kept them, but I think it'd be nice sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching.